you think of Colombia, what do you actually think about? What is the first thing that comes into mind? Cocaine, obviously. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what people think. Pablo Escobar, cocaine, uh, drugs. But there's so much more to Colombia and I want to touch on it. But something that I've realised is there's so much inequality in Colombia. The times that I've been there, the times that I've gone, I've seen no one with a disability. I've seen no one out there. But I've also seen that people are treated differently for having a disability. So I went to a Parque del Café, which is our national park of coffee. And I want to read a statement that it actually states. Uh, it says, people with a condition or a disability um, actually require a special pass to go in. Now, that pass actually restricts you from going onto different rides just because you have a disability, and I don't believe that's correct. I don't believe that's a correct way of doing things. Um, a lot of my family members had to limit their, their enjoyment for me, and I didn't enjoy that. They had to not go on rides because they wanted me to go on the rides, which I loved, it. I loved them for it, but again... They, they got restricted because of me for, for, to allow me to go on the rides. If I go to a bank in Colombia, again, there could be a three-hour queue and I could skip the line. And I think that's so unfair. Why should I have to skip the line for a three-hour wait when other people have been there before me? And I think that is so morally wrong and so ethically wrong. Um, but again, we don't see that in Colombia. We just think of Again, cocaine. We think of Pablo Escobar. We don't think about the people who have been affected. We don't think about the people who are affected by all these changes. And I want to be the person that helps. I want to be the person that, that helps to change that. Every Since SOS Colombia, which was a movement in 2021, and the pandemic hit, I started helping people in Colombia. I started sending money to help families at Christmas. Last year, I sent money to help a little kid who unfortunately can't celebrate Christmas. And I've helped him have a Christmas and get gifts. He used to celebrate his Christmas at, in January, if I'm not mistaken, just because his family couldn't have that Christmas. He didn't have the money. They had to wait until, until January to celebrate it, which I think is so unfair. I want to give back to, to families just the way my family gave back to me. I want to help families the way my family helped me have a good Christmas. And I think with your help, I can do this. There's, there's so much that I want to do in Colombia that I think by growing here in the UK, it's allowed me to do that. But I'm going to need your help to make, them, to make this happen. Do we want to save Colombia? Do we want to help stop prostitution in Colombia? Do we want to help families? Of course we do, but we can't do this alone. Unfortunately, Colombia is, is in a bad economical place, but we can help them. We can help them. It's just how do we help them? How do we get to a place where we can send money, send clothes, send accessories that they may need? How do we do it? I don't know, but we need to be in a place where where honestly we can help them because our country is going through this shit right now and we're just standing back. We, we jump on trends every so often. Black lives matter, Latino lives matter. But what happens when it's all over? They're still struggling whilst we are, we're still here living our lives. We forget about people. We forget about trends. We forget about these, these people who are suffering and we just jump on it for trends. What is this? I'm not here to jump on a trend. I'm here to help my country. I'm here to help my people. There's many people who are homeless. There's many people who, who are struggling for food. And we're here taking liberties. I've worked in retail for seven years. And the amount of food that we waste, the amount of food that we, we get rid of, we've been. The good quality food they might be out of date, but they're, they're still in good quality. We've been them. Why? Because they're out of date. Are you serious? This has got to change. 
and I am so so annoyed that we we're taking liberties. Everything we do, everything we have, is is our wealth, and we want more. We we want more without needing more. Everything we have is a luxury. Everything we do is a luxury. There are people who can't even afford a slice of bread. Me and my family have always gone to Colombia and helped people. We've always given them, you know, an empanada, a drink. But people here seem to think that we can waste food when there are people struggling. That, that for me, needs to change. And I think we are taking liberties. That's, that's so morally wrong and honestly, I need this to change and I'm going to make this change. For me, for everyone back home, I'm going to help people back home 100%. Every year if I have to, every year if I can, I'm going to send things back home because that's how we start. That is how we make that, that first step. But I don't mind if I do this alone. I don't mind if I get your help. I'm going to make that change for, for my country. Because the inequality over there for people who are homeless, for the people who, who have a disability and have to hide and be ashamed of the disability, it's, it's disgusting. I've, like I said, I've never seen anyone back home come out with a disability. I think I've seen a handful, if, if any. I think the times that I've been there, I've been the only person that I've seen out there with a disability. I'm not ashamed to say I've got a disability and a condition. But a lot of people back home are because it's still a taboo topic. It's still, it's still something that people are ashamed of. I'm not ashamed of that and we're going to make that change. We're going to make them feel confident. One way or another, we are going to help them and we are going to make that change. Whatever it takes. That's it.